M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Zygu X6100. If you find these useful, please like and subscribe to my channel. 73, all the best. M0FXB, have a look at the following video because what I have found here is that the new firmware for the Zygu 6100 is actually, although I know we've got the Bluetooth Wi Fi in the menu, it's actually a bad thing at the moment because what it's doing, it's sort of removed some of the uh, repairs that it had before because now when you with the as you'll see with the new firmware when you're tuning fast it's jumping and you're losing the waterfall screen yeah now with the older version which i've got back in now ending um 207 so it's two 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 oh two one one two oh seven yeah with the older version you're not getting that jump all right, I haven't got Bluetooth, Bluetooth's gone. So I just go system here, no Bluetooth, but at least I can use the radio correctly because before it was jumping as I was tuning and that's very frustrating being that the best part of this radio is uh, not when I say tuning, I don't mean ATU tuning, I mean tuning through the frequency. The best thing of this radio is that it works great as a HF six meter radio with an ATU, yeah, and a nice screen. Um, no point having Bluetooth Wi-Fi that makes the radio actually operate worse so uh, yeah so uh, 73 uh, definitely message me let me know I'll forward this to the other youtubers that are experimenting with this radio um, that will be ham radio dude and uh, Steve from temporarily offline and all the other people 73 all the best okay, so do some tests here so after the latest firmware which ends 229 end of December when you're tuning through and you've got the one megahertz thing, look, as you tune through, when it's changing, say from three to four, it jumps down, it loses. See that? And I'm just wondering if it does that with the previous firmware. Add the old firmware back in. Kept the, the newer firmware on a separate SD card. So once it completes, we'll put it in the radio that's turned off, has a DC power supply, and then we'll turn on the radio, let it boot, and then it should be back at the old firmware, and then we'll see if we still have that problem. The other interesting thing we'll find out is if it's okay to load older firmware. So yeah, fingers crossed. Okay, we've got that on the SD card. So there's our SD card, it's that way round. It's gonna pop it in. Right, we've popped it in, radio's off. You can see there's an external power supply, plus it's charged. So let's just turn it on and let it do its thing. I'm actually curious it, to know even if this will even boot an older firmware. So there's a delay and then it runs through a big cycle. There you go, so that seems to be doing that. Now the newer firmware, I have here. So you can hear a little Nico in the background. It's quite, quite fun doing it really. So, yeah, with the Wi-Fi Bluetooth, you know, they still haven't got it right. Right, the radio's turned off. Once it's off, we need to remove the SD card. Which we've done. That's, that's with the older firmware. And we're gonna boot it. We always hold it for a good couple of seconds. And then we need to hit the sort of install button. Well, it's booted lovely, no problem there. So one sec. So system settings. And then, yeah, it's the old firmware. And then we just put, hit firmware upgrade. And then we hit, um, hit that. And then it will run through now. We have to hit the word upgrade. 
And it's going to install that. There you go. And now we're going to check that jump on HF, see if it's the same. We've got to the end and we'll hit quit. And we'll give it a reboot. Right, rebooting. So we're back on and let's test it. Let's see if it does it. So it's 704, remember? And I would say it doesn't. So I'm going to leave it like that. The summary of this video is that although they've added Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, it has actually affected the way the radio tunes. So I choose to actually not have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi until they got that right. Look. But you get a slight click, but you don't lose any frequency at all. So M0FXB. I think it's quite important that we know this. In summary, Zygu need to do some more work very quickly. Uh, one, stop this uh, jumping of the frequency, but also get the Bluetooth working so we can actually hear it on our earphones and speakers, connect external devices, um, get the Wi-Fi so that we can actually use it for remote and local access to this radio and anything else that's going to enable us to use ham radio programs, you know, uh, that are, you know, like ham radio deluxe type programs, WFU, so we can get this big screen here on our computers. So, uh, Zygu, thank you, but you've, you've got a lot more work to do on this. Uh, 73M0FXB Andreas.